What's the temperature right now? Good afternoon, Sam. Right now, it's 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, not bad. Still gonna wear a coat though, let's be real. Okay. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Vlogmas number five. It's 4.35 p.m. And I'm kind of just starting my day. I don't know what is wrong with me. And uh, this whole week has been a struggle. I've just felt very tired and low energy. And I know I'm getting my period soon. So that might be part of it. And my sleep has definitely just been thrown off from staying out late last weekend. And the last two nights in a row, I closed at the salon. So I haven't been getting home till like nine o'clock. And then by the time I eat dinner and then I have to edit Vlogmas. And I think sitting and staring at a screen late at night is not good for me, clearly, because then I have a hard time falling asleep. So I've been going to sleep really late and then waking up late. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll be able to kind of break out of the cycle because I have to be at the salon kind of early. So I'm going to set an alarm for 7.30. I didn't wake up until 11.30 today. But I think that's just what I need to do. I need to force myself to get up early, force myself to stay up. That way I can go to bed earlier and then hopefully get back on a good cycle i just hate feeling this way i feel so lazy and useless but i did promise my friend Haley that i would do her hair for her tonight because it is her work christmas party this evening so i forced myself to get out of bed and shower i did not wash my hair because i don't have time so we're just gonna pull it back in uh, bun this is the main reason i know when i first cut my hair a few people were like oh you should go shorter and i thought about it but if i went much shorter i wouldn't be able to throw my hair back in a fast messy bun and that would be a problem on days like today it's kind of perfect because i am still reviewing that shark blow dryer and i wanted to get some more footage testing it out for that review video which will be coming in a few days because i've tried it out on myself but now i'm going to use it to blow dry her hair and she's like the perfect person to test blow dryers out on because she has so much hair it is so thick and long and her hair gets frizzy really easily so it'll be good to see how fast does it get the hair dry and how smooth does it get it so i'm gonna head over to her place and do that and I am gonna bring Benny with me so that he can play with her dogs while I'm doing her hair and then I think after I do her hair I'm just gonna come straight back home I have salmon that I had defrosted in the fridge so I'm gonna just have salmon and rice for dinner okay I'm gonna grab my stuff and then head out of here and I'll see you at Haley's house Yes, bitch. Yes. <laughs> Close up on these shoes. Beautiful. Ah, stunning. Thank you. I got home a little while ago. I got my salmon and rice. I just make the salmon in my air fryer. I put olive oil, salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika a little bit of soy sauce and cook it on 400 for like 15 minutes and i am going to eat this while i watch a movie i keep seeing previews for this movie on netflix may december with natalie portman and julianne moore so yeah i'm gonna watch this and eat dinner and then I need to edit the video that needs to go up tomorrow. I've been really good in like staying on it and I've been able to like schedule all the videos out ahead of time, but today was just 
not a good day and it really threw things off so i'm gonna do that and then try to get to bed relatively early ish so i'll see you in the morning good morning i am rushing a little bit because i set my alarm for 7 30 and i just kept hitting snooze and i didn't realize how much i was hitting snooze or for how long and I didn't actually end up getting up till 9. And I was feeling like a zombie, so I had to make myself coffee. Caffeinated coffee. But now I need to rush because I need to be out of here by 9.40 to get to the salon in time. That is another good thing about moving. I'm going to be significantly closer to the salon and we'll be able to get there in like 10 minutes. But I'm getting my nails done first this morning. They are getting quite grown out. I've just been getting them done at work by my coworker because it's super convenient. And I just schedule my appointments for days that I already am gonna be going to work. That way I don't have to make an extra trip and it's not cutting into like my days off or anything like that. But I wanna do a dark like blood red color. Last weekend she did my pedicure and I love the color that's on my toes right now. So I want my hands to match. Uh -huh, I love that. I had my phone <sighs> plugged in so it could charge. This outlet thing had came loose and <laughs> it wasn't fully plugged into the wall. So it doesn't look like it yeah, it didn't charge at all that whole time. That's great. Anyway, I am bringing my phone tripod with me today because after my nail appointment, I have one client. It's so weird, like this weekend, I'm not busy at all. I literally just have the one client, but then next week, which is the weekend before Christmas, so it makes sense. I guess everybody is just waiting as long as possible so that their hair will be as fresh as possible for Christmas and New Year's. I have a bunch of people next weekend, but yeah, today I just have the one client, which is fine with me, so it should be a nice, easy, chill day. I'm really trying to be more active on my hair Instagram page, so if you're not already following me on there, it's at Styled by Sam Vey. Please go give me a follow. I have two Instagrams. My personal one, which is Sam underscore Bay, and then the styled by Sam Bay is my hair one, and I'm trying to use that more as like my business account. I usually will like just use one a lot and then kind of neglect the other one, but I'm trying to be active with both of them and just use my personal account for just regular personal things, like for friends, and then the more professional one is going to be like most of my content and I'm really trying to be more active on there and get more content aside from just like before and afters so that's why I was trying to charge my phone but hopefully it should be okay when I was doing hair in Pennsylvania the salon I was at was just so cozy and it was small and it was a lot more private and I would get content of like every single person practically and it was great because I had all this content, I was able to post regularly and like business was booming back then because I was posting so much and I was constantly like bringing new people in. And now that I am not going to be doing the front desk anymore, I don't know if I mentioned it, but yeah, this week was my last week doing the front desk. So I am just exclusively going to be taking clients at the salon now, starting out just doing two days a week and then hopefully we'll see if I get busy enough and if there is room for me I'd love to do a little bit more than that we'll see how it goes but I need to really step up my game to get myself booked and busy because I know how to do it I know how to grow my clientele but it's just about putting in the work when i come home today i really want to do a self-care night and wash my hair and like do a face mask because i just feel like i have been neglecting my personal care i gotta go now i will see you at the salon
yeah, sorry this lighting sucks, <laughs> but we'll be in the new apartment soon and have better lighting there. I got my nails done. I'm obsessed. They are like the perfect shape and length and everything. They just feel so nice and clean and fresh and I love the dark color. This is called Party at Holly's, I believe, from OPI. It's just the most perfect dark, dark, like blood red. My client's hair went really well. I was able to get tons of content, which I'm really excited about. I will link that tripod down below. I got it from Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive and it's perfect to set your phone up and you can like tilt it, rotate it, whatever you want to do. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. So that's been really nice to use at the salon. I just have to be better about it because it ends up taking more time for the appointment because you know I'm, I'm stopping to get video and I'm making sure to set it up and keep moving it around and make sure I'm in frame and all of that so I need to start blocking out more time for each appointment so that I'll have time to do that and I won't feel rushed and like I have to hurry to finish before my next client. I am starving now though. It's like 5.15. I came home, took Benny out, and I'm just gonna heat up my leftovers from last night. Got salmon and rice, and I have avocado too. So I'm gonna eat this and get some editing done. I'm trying to decide what I wanna do tonight. I was planning on just staying home and having like my self-care night, but my coworker was talking about hanging out. So I don't know. And it's really warm out tonight. So I'm kind of tempted to maybe go out and get a drink or two. I'm gonna see how I feel after I eat. But either way, we are gonna do a self-care routine before I go to bed. So I will check in later and let you know what I decide. I decided I'm just gonna stay home. My coworker is gonna just come over and hang out here. Cause I am in the mood, like now that I ate, I have more energy and I kind of would like to do something. Cause you know, like it's Saturday night, but I don't really know if I feel like going out anywhere. <laughs> just kind of feel like staying cozy. Um, but like some girl time would be nice, so. I'm going to still do my little self-care routine and just do it now because like I just feel gross. I just really want to wash my face and my hair. So I'm going to get in the shower and do a nice full shower. I'm going to exfoliate. I use the Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Salt Scrub. And lately I have been using the Amica Normcore Shampoo and Conditioner. And I really like this because it's not heavy. It doesn't weigh my hair down at all. I don't think I'm gonna do like a hair mask or anything because I don't really feel like I need it. Because <laughs> hello, I just recently chopped off like a foot of hair. And then face mask. I feel so much better already when I got out. I just completely slathered my body in cocoa butter. I'm gonna do my face mask now. This is the Origins Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I love this one. I have had this for a while now and it's my favorite. Like anytime my skin is just feeling a little bit blah, like I don't know, I've been getting like little breakouts here and there and it's just been feeling more oily than usual. The while this is sitting on, I'm gonna answer the questions of the day. At the end of each Vlogmas vlog, I am pulling up questions that you guys leave me in the comments of the previous vlog. So if you have any questions that you would like me to feature in the next vlog, leave them down in the comments of this one. And I always just scroll down to the bottom and just kind of see what we got. So. The first question I see is, have you ever thought about moving out of the United States to live in Italy? I've definitely said that in the past, like, oh, I should just go move to Italy or move to France. Honestly, I speak way more French. I took French for like 10 years. Started in middle school, took it all through high school and college. And I don't ever practice it, so like, don't try to put me on the spot and speak French to me. But like, when I hear it, I can definitely read it 
and when I hear it, I usually can make out most of what is being said, and I think that if I lived in France for like a month, I would pick it back up and be completely fluent, because um, I know a lot of it. But uh, yeah, I've definitely said like, oh, I'd love to go live in France, but I don't know, now that I have a dog, it, that's definitely not gonna happen any time in the foreseeable future, realistically, but yes, I've definitely thought about it. A couple people asked who's my favorite YouTuber and whose vlogmas am I watching this year. I would say the people that I watch the most consistently are Carly Bible. I've been watching her like since the beginning so she's like an OG favorite for me. Same with Alexandra Rodriguez aka Learning to be Fearless. Emmanuel Rodriguez, nicknamed A-Rod, is an American former professional baseball shortstop and third baseman businessman and philanthropist. Okay, thank you for that. That just gave me a fucking heart attack. Oh. <sighs> anyway, learning to be fearless. I've been watching her forever too, so she's another OG favorite of mine. And she does vlogmas every year, and I have been watching hers every day. And then I also really love Nikki DeMar from Nikki and Gabby. And they're from the area that I used to live in. I definitely relate to Nikki more than Gabby. I don't really watch Gabby, but I don't know. I love Nikki and I love the style of her videos. So I've been watching her vlogmas as well. And it's just so nostalgic. Like I love watching her vlogs and seeing her drive around the area that I used to always hang out in. And I'm like, oh my God, I know exactly where that is. I'm sure I'm forgetting some people, but those are like my top three that come to mind off the top of my head. All right, let's wrap it up with this. This is a good one. Can you tell us some dating stories from when you first moved? <laughs> I first moved down to North Carolina two years ago. Oh my God, actually yesterday, the 8th, was my two year anniversary of moving into this apartment. And yeah, my boyfriend and I decided to break up at the time. And I was just like, I'm gonna put myself out there and I'm gonna date and I'm just gonna, you know, cause I was interested, like I'm in a brand new part of the country. I'm curious to see what the men are like down here. And I don't really have like too many crazy stories but I did go on a date one time with this guy. We had matched on like Hinge or Bumble and we didn't really talk much before meeting because I feel like with dating apps, like it just gets so boring. And like, I can't hold a conversation with someone that I don't know and have never met before. And also I don't want to get too deep into conversation with someone and then meet them in person and there's no chemistry or like I'm not interested at all you know and then I feel like it's awkward so we had matched and then literally I think like that same night or the next night we met up for dinner he was so full of himself and just so weird oh it was so uncomfortable we were sitting at the bar in Chili's and he's talking and going on about you know his life and blah 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 and he's like I notice that you keep staring at my lips. You like my lips? You want to kiss me? I was like, oh, no, hell no. What the, first of all, like body language experts say that if somebody is like looking at your mouth, that means, I think, right? That's what they say. Like if you're looking at someone's mouth, that means you're really paying attention and trying to listen to what they're saying. Especially like we're in a loud restaurant, so like I'm trying to also kind of like read his lips while he's speaking. I don't know, I just do that, I guess. And like I also feel uncomfortable like making direct eye contact with someone, so like I guess I just tend to look at their mouth. I don't know, it's like a subconscious thing that I do. And then he was asking me what I was looking for and you know I had just moved down here so I was like honestly I'm not entirely sure. I am just trying to go on as many dates as I can and just meet people and it also was like a good excuse for me to try out different places because like I didn't have any friends or know anyone down here when I first moved so I was like perfect I'll go on dates and then I can try out these different bars and restaurants and like I'll have somebody to go out and explore with and uh he just like would not believe me he was like yeah okay yeah I'm sure there's no way that you aren't looking for something like I know you're looking for a relationship like excuse me sir you don't know me we literally met 
an hour ago. Who the f do you think you are to try and tell me what I am and am not looking for? He was just, oh my God, it's awful. And I just felt like it was a terrible date. I thought that he also felt like it was a terrible date. And at the end of it, he like went to hug me and it was really awkward, uncomfortable, didn't try to kiss me, thank God. And I thought like, okay, good, like, we both did not like each other. We just didn't vibe. I'm sure I'm never gonna hear from him again. What a relief. He literally texts me the next day and is like trying to make plans with me again. And I was like, this man is delusional. Like what the, and I am very anti-ghosting, but I just could not stand this man so much that I just didn't even respond. I just blocked his number and deleted the text and I was like, do not try to contact me again. Oh my god. Anyway, it is time for me to remove this mask. So I am going to wrap up this vlog here because it needs to go up in the morning. I'm gonna wash this off, blow dry my hair, and then my friend is gonna come over and we're just gonna have a chill night in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow with a hair video and in two days with another vlog. Bye.